Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Today, we are continuing our story. We got Dialga last episode. We found out Palkia is frenzy. Volo is nowhere to be found with his untrustworthy shady eyebrows. And now we have to find a way to quell... What Pokemon is that? Oh, that's a Geodude. We have to quell Palkia. Because he is running amok. I think we need to go down here. Was that right? Wait, what? Where are you? You're in the grotto. Are you in a cave? Head for the place where you can obtain origin ore. Maybe you are in the cave. Is there a cave entrance? There is a cave entrance. Hello. And I see Pokemon. You're mine. Did we catch him? We did. Ooh, okay, that looks suspicious. Uh, let me just peek in. Oh my God, there's Pokemon fossils. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, what is this? Like, legit fossils of, what, Cranidos and Bastodon? That's insane. I don't think we've ever actually seen, like, fossils like that. We've obtained fossils, I remember, but not like that. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here. As if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my Siglu's moves, I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? We're gonna have to ask you to stop right there. What? What are you doing here? This has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with. Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where have you been all this time? <laughs> I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. Ugh, that earnest goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Wait, so Diamond Pearl, who's this third one then? Is, is there a third clan? Enough! I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Dan. You take charm. Are we going to have a three on three? Oh, okay. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm, especially in this, the battle of a lifetime. Hey, who, who you got right on? Okay. Uh, we know... Definitely need to get Natsu out, but she only has two Pokemon. So she can't be that difficult, right? Uh, Gastodon. Yeah, that'll be good. Hang tight, Natsu. Ooh! Almost got hit by that. Alright. Uh, Water Pulse. Go! All right, who's next, Clover? Gengar. Oh, you're already going, okay. With a Shadow Ball? Why do you get to go twice? You just got out here. Oh, that's so ignorant. 
All right, well, should we do Gengar v Gengar? I think we should. Just for giggles. All right, buddy, it's all up to you. Um, Dark Pulse. There we go, goodbye. Our Gengar reigns supreme. Well, you are rather formidable. Come on, Quiver. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. And we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all its stupid rules. Look. We'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you'd better do something about that sky. You are as strong as ever, Dan. Maybe you can really do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Honestly, those three? What did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need. Even if she grossed, even if she groused as she did. I suspect that may have been worried about us. Perhaps even wanting to help. Then they shouldn't have just said so. Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. I was able to extract some of that origin ore, or whatever it is you wish to call it. I suppose I had better go with you, Dan. There it is. Piece of origin ore. An ore of mysterious power spoken of in ancient myths and said to contain the power of Almighty Sinnoh itself. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply failed to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew we can count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver recognizes you as worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Lavison's got sound judgment, plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. Alright, let's get back to uh, Professor Lavison. Going the wrong way. Oh, oh, can we catch that alpha real quick? Don't see me, don't see me. You don't see me. Oh, maybe that'll work. Will that work? Oh, it didn't work. Okay, goodbye. All right, let's head back up the mountain. Oh, it's getting crazy. There's a storm a coming. All right, then we need. Oh no, we need bravery. There we go. Oh wait, 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 wait! There's a chingling. Oh, Rapira, you need to go away, please. Oh, we didn't catch it. Okay. We'll come back for you later. Up. Oh, we'll get right on taking a seat. That's so cute. All right. Uh, almost there. Almost there. I'm curious what's going to happen. I'm curious how hard Palkia... Well, no. If we're creating what I'm assuming is going to be a Master Ball, then there should be any issue at all, right? So, this is the Stone of Creation's beginning, the Origin Ore. Hmm, yes, one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything, by the sound of it. 
Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilife Village. Here you are, Professor Lavington. What remains of the red chain, broken as it may be? Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. Your turn, Dan. Next comes the stone of creation's beginning. The fragments of the red chain collected at great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. Then the stone of creation's beginning, which we first learned of thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now it is time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Akiri, my girl, you are one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? This is my true battlefield, Dan, even if it may be safe indoors. This may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you had best wait outside while we work. Come on, Mr. Professor. Must they hurry up in there? I'm starting to suspect all of your prattling about the value of time is a cover for your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever because that'd be using time well, unlike this. We've done it, Dan. It's complete. I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. There it is. I'm assuming the original Master Ball, or at least this Dimensions slash Universe's version of a Master Ball. Origin Ball, a singular and irreplicable, irreplicable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all Hisui could rest in something so tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Well, hold on. It's that voice. I, I hear it in my head again. You mean Dialga? Yeah. Seems like Mighty Dialga is willing to lend its strength to this fight. That's what it's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. The Diamond Clan's almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps I should say Dialga, is fearsomely powerful. Everything's ready now, Dan. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Dialga. Okay, is Dialga... Dialga's not in our party, right? No. Let's save, because we don't know what's going to happen the moment we step out this door. And nothing. Okay. Uh, well, let's go to the pasture. Right? We should still have access to the pasture now that we've been reinstated. Also, the old creepy woman is back. Curious what she has to say. I don't see Dialga in there. Uh, yes. Whom, though, I'm not really sure. Let's say, uh... I mean, we have poison attacks already. Get rid of Gliger. And actually, we're going to move you to the front, Dialga. And then we're going to save. And then we're going to see what Dialga looks like out and about. Because, of course... Whoa, okay. A lot bigger than I thought you would be. Alright, buddy. Let's get going. And here you are, lost one, ready to face your fate atop Mount Coronet. It seems a vicious battle might await you. I'll go where I must. Oh, well said. Now, hearken to my words, young ones. 
Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. That being you will encounter the Temple of Sinnoh is Palkia, ruler of all space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend here in Haisu, and eventually the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Dialga, the ruler of time, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now take Dialga at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has an offer. Excuse me, is this the time for shopping? Well, I hardly have time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point. All right, Dan, once you feel ready, set out. We make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. All right, uh, let's get a save in, just to play safe. Uh, also, reminder where the temple is. Cornet Highlands, okay. Uh, summit Camp. Alright, well, here we are. Um, we gotta go up. We gotta go up. Bravery! I need you, buddy. And sneeze squirt. Come on, keep it going. There you go. Up with bravery. Actually, you know what? I think we could probably just keep going this way. Right? Just swap between bravery and sneeze squirt. I can't go any further. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's getting pink and spooky. Can I go up this way? There we go. Uh, no, I can't go up that way. Okay. Oh, that's right. We've got to go through the cave. Excuse me, sir. I don't see anybody in here, which is good. No more Benny. Oh, there is somebody here. What are you doing here? All right, well, let's save. Maybe we'll finally find out what his eyebrows are up to. Just the boy I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here, closer to the temple. I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see into the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. You're shady. No, I think we're good. You're shady? I don't trust you. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Were you just selling Ultra Balls, though? I mean, eyebrows are sad. I'll take them. Let's, uh, let's make some quick money real quick. We have some star pieces, don't we? Yeah, we do. We have six. 5,000 a pop? Sell all. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. There we go. Uh, do we have anything else we can really sell? I don't think so. At least nothing I really want to get rid of. So, I think that'll do. And then let me take your Ultra Balls. 82. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I bought them. Okay. <laughs> My bad. I wanted to sell these also. There, at least we have some money. We have 93 Ultra Balls. All right, let's uh, let's hop to it. Pick up these iron chunks. 
And of course, we have to save. All right, could this be it? Whew. Okay, I'm nervous. I don't know what this is gonna be like. Oh, did not wanna ride up with Sneezler. I'm thinking maybe we'll give Ursaguna. I'm coming, everybody. For so long, I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilife Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you have shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruits? I'm ready to fight. Hey Dan, let's meet tomorrow together. What is that supposed to mean? It's a saying we've got in the Diamond Clan. It means you hope you'll both stay safe. Hmm. Perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. We will support you whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Dan, protect Hasui and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. Holy. Oh crap. Here we go, it's about to go down. Holy shit, this feels like a Pokemon movie. I'm not gonna lie, graphics aside. This is a good proper cut. What is that? What is that? That's not Palkia. That legit looks like a Digimon. Holy. What are you? We're gonna have to throw bombs at you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's relax, let's relax. Nope. Oh, what is that, Draco meter? Nope, get out of here, get out of here. Right in the butt, right in the butt, right in the butt. Nope, nope. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, Palkia? All right. I don't know how to go up. Okay, can you not? Really? Oh my gosh. How do we already have damage on us? No! Shoot, this was what took us down the last time. I'm not even hitting you. Out of its path. We didn't even touch it. Oh my gosh. Alright, watch out for these death rays.
I don't trust you. What are you doing? All right, we're gonna watch out. He's been doing three Draco meters and then that little burst of light. And we got a fourth Draco meter. Okay. Here we go. Burst of light. Three. Is there another one? No. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. What in Arceus's name is that? How are you supposed to get rid of that? Nope. Oh, come on. It's not fair. All right, we gotta just, I feel like just be patient, right? I didn't even hit him. No! I'm messing up already. Also, how are we supposed to get rid of that spatial rent business? Third one. All right, to your shockwaves. No, oh, no, no, okay. Three. Unless the spatial run dodging is a timing thing? This should be... Oh no, you're giving me a fourth one. Okay. Oh my god, don't get hit. One. Two. Three. Yeah, that. How do we deal with this? See, there's no way. There's no way to dodge that. Uh, no way to dodge that either. Oh my god, Palkia. Okay. That's quite the Draco meter, sir. You're doing like an X pattern. All right, where's the shock waves? One, two, three. Yeah, if it does spatial run again, I don't understand how we be able to get rid of that or even dodge it. You know? Holy crap! I think we're gonna hang tight. No, come on! Every time! Go, go, get out of there. We got a lot done already. Three, right? And then in the butt. Oh, you're already doing your second phase. Okay. Do 
Do it again. Do it again. Oh, get out of there. Actually, we skipped over the spatial run. So maybe we're okay? Nope! I hit twice. I hit twice. That's not fair. Okay. Shockwaves? One. Two. Three! And here comes the spatial run. Get out of there! Oh my god, we got Drakeo Meteor and... What just happened? Oh! 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 Oh, I screwed up, didn't I? Son of a... No! 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 Oh my god, I'm stuck! Go! 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 Did we do it? Did we do it, please? Oh! We did it! Let's go! Holy crap! He caught it. He really did it, didn't he? My eyes aren't lying, right? He actually went and caught it. Yes. Oh, good show. What a catch. You contained that fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever, Dan. Thanks, Sinnoh. Formidable as usual, Dan. Hmm. <laughs> yes. So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. Ouch! What gives, commander? Not sure I deserve a sumo throw. Hm. Well, at least it seems this is no dream. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any we have known but we were able to overcome it by working to as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans. This will be the greatest celebration Haisu has ever seen. Celebrate? With the Diamond Clan? The two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we were both following a true almighty sin of our own, I guess the times when we'd fight over whose was wrong or right are ancient history now. I'm sure ancestors would be shocked to see us agree, but this may well be the best path toward protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Haisu region. So is this our home now? Good, wholesome content. Wow. 
Wow, we really did beat it. Oh my god, I love this photo. Oh, I can't take a photo. That's okay, I'm recording it. I love that photo. That was so cute. I would love a print of that for my office. Oh, wait a minute. Our arc bonus beeping. Seek out all Pokemon. Okay, post game, prepare well, then make for the temple of Sinnoh once more. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, one more time? Wait, why was there a quest here? Your request. Oh, a new day dawns. Okay. The rift in space-time has disappeared, and calamity seems to have been averted. At last, you can return to the Survey Corps' main duty, completing the Pokedex. Got it. Okay. Well, everybody, um, we, air quotes, air bunnies here, we beat the game. We beat Pokemon Legends Arceus, and holy crap, uh, I don't really curse that much. I don't know why. I'm just one of those weird people that don't. Uh, but there were so many times I had to mute my microphone because I was just like, oh, 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 oh. It was so good. It was such a good ending. Oh my God. I'm really hoping we get some DLC for Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I'm really hoping they take this whole concept and just keep pushing it forward, Gen 9 and onward because holy crap fantastic game we still have lots more to do and we have more quests to do post game content now we still have to find arceus so don't forget if you're new or coming back around give this video a like head to the comments let me know what you thought of the ending of pokemon legends arceus was it as epic for you as it was for me was it emotional? Was it awesome? Was it intense? My palms are still sweaty. <laughs> um, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. We're going to keep going at it um, with more Pokemon Legends Arceus post-game content. Um, I'll probably do request off camera, but I know there is one request that we picked up. And I think it was, and actually I'm going to put it up now, uh, request. The Seas Legend. I actually think this is a mythical legend uh for a mythical pokemon um if the rumors i've read are true so we're gonna save that for camera um there's also a few other ones in here that are unique and not just a simple fetch quest so maybe we'll do those on camera but yeah i can't wait and i'm <laughs> bravo the <laughs> fantastic game so uh but yeah uh like comment thoughts about the game thoughts about the end of the game subscribe if you're not subscribed and enjoy the rest of your day. And thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the support for Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I can't wait to play more. I can't wait to dive into the next round of game content with you all. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. But I'm going to take a break. I'm going to de-sweat. Wipe my palms off. Um, maybe grab some water. Grab a little snack. But enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, I will see you tomorrow. Or maybe later today in another video. But until then, bye-bye.